These are the very sad images of families evacuating in last night's flood waters. They flooded streets, homes and businesses and cleanup is the last thing that many want to do this Labor Day weekend. We continue our team coverage tonight. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres met with a family who put all of this in perspective. Carrie, that's right. It is here on Lewis Street where the floodwaters took out the fence of this business. This one's pretty bad, but right across the road in these apartments, several residents had to evacuate. As you can see, the street is now clear, but for a husband and his sick wife, it's still not enough to come back home tonight. Her got her bath this morning. It's the simple moments that make <laughs> a huge difference. Yeah. It's been a while since Amanda Williams smiled. What she and her husband went through the past 24 hours <sighs> brings back a flood of painful memories. I was just devastated. I didn't know if we were going to make it out of there. It's going to be better to go this way. They were some of the residents along Lewis Street who had to evacuate. The storm was relentless and the water was high. I was banging at the door and I stepped, get up off my bed and I'm water up to my knees. It got to the point where the stove and refrigerator was floating. While many were able to walk away, it wasn't so easy for Amanda. She is in hospice care. I just kept loading up pillows and sitting on them. Cruz pulled her out to safety with a raft and taken to the hospital. It took a few hours before she finally reunited with her family and dog. Finally found her and finally found my son, finally found my husband. Right now they're staying with her sister-in-law as many residents start to clean up. They know they lost so much. My son won't even let me go look at the place. But the flood isn't enough to wash away their sense of humor. I got the dog up like this, she's taller than me. Take care of the dog now. <laughs> and sense of gratitude. Materialistic things can be replaced. At least we have our lives. The family says they don't have insurance and most likely will return here next week. We have posted a way for you to help the family on newschannel5.com. In the meantime, the First Baptist Church in Jolton will remain open all night for evacuees until it is no longer needed. Reporting live in South Nashville, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.